Joel Embiid, uh, you heard Eddie House talk about it. He put on a performance last night, Rob. Uh, they needed every bit of it to beat the uh, Boston Celtics 103-101. But Embiid was phenomenal, Rob. 52 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, shot, get this, 20 for 25 from, from the field. 20 for 25 from the field. And, Rob, he became the first center since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar way back in 1972 to score 50 points in three games in one season, to have three 50-point games in one season. Um, it, it was a great performance. And um, anyway, afterwards, Doc Rivers didn't mince words. Here, here was Doc. There's so many things uh, that we did wrong. Uh, but what we did right was Joel Embiid. The MVP race is over. I, I, I'm really like tonight we had we couldn't make shots. We had guys making shots uh, with open shots. <clears throat> the man just scored half our points in the NBA game. And I'm biased. But the MVP race is over. I hope he didn't jinx him, because you better be careful telling voters who they're going to vote for. Well, I, I think, Rob, Doc learned his lesson from Ben Simmons. That, that scenario. Remember when he was just flat out honest about Ben Simmons when he was asked, can you win a championship with him? He was like, I, I don't know. Right. And it, that, I mean, Ben was never the same. And right. he never I'm just saying. He didn't even ever play for the Sixers again. So now Doc's like, look, I'm, I'm just – pubbing my guys, and I think Doc means it, but yeah, that's interesting, Rob. I mean, like, like, if you were a voter, and obviously you are a voter for the Baseball Hall of Fame, right? would would it bother you if a coach or yeah, somebody Yeah, I mean, a guy's that? not going to tell me who I'm voting for or that it's over or he doesn't have a vote. If I was a, if I was a writer there, I'd say, Doc, do you have a vote? I would have, that would be my next question. <laughs> and then he'd have to answer that. But, Chris, I'm going to say here on The Odd Couple that uh, – Joel Embiid will not NOT win the MVP, and neither will Giannis. I still think the Joker is going to win, and here are my reasons why. Now, you're not saying – I'm just clarifying for the listeners. You're not saying he should win. I'm saying, he's, saying he's going he to win. win. Yes, I'm saying he's going to win because he leads in all of the most important analytical stats. He still does. Well, uh, not all. No, no, no. Well, I'm just getting the ones that I have. PER, okay. win shares, box plus minus, and value over replacement. Okay? PER, 31.7. Win shares, 14.9. Box plus minus, Chris, 13.1. And value over replacement, 8.7. Embiid, PER, 31.6. Win shares, 12.3. And what Box is, what plus is um, minus. What is Jokic's? Uh, Jokic's fourteen point nine. No, I mean uh, his PER. One point better, thirty one point seven to thirty one point six. Okay. To thirty one point six. Uh, Embiid box share, box plus minus ninety two, and value over replacement six point four. And and Giannis's value over replacement, Chris, is five point four. But here's my point. And I'm going to stick by this until they, they prove me wrong. I don't believe, not the Chris Broussards and the old heads who look at basketball a little different, who've been covering a lot longer, and who have decided that I test, a, along with analytics and the other stuff, and importance of games and points and who you play and all that stuff, factors in. But I don't believe that that's the overwhelming majority of the people who have the votes, especially since the race, even when, Chris, you thought it was way closer the first time that uh, straw poll came out and the Joker had 77% of the 100, 77 votes out of 100. Now, remember, and, they the last edition, MB won. Right. I'm the just saying, poll. I do believe that analytics – will wear its ugly head and will be the determining factor as, as who is the MVP 
and not the eye test and not based on your gut feel or how important somebody is, but the raw analytical numbers. Look, it's certainly possible that Jokic wins. Um, I do think MB is going to win. I don't agree with Doc. That it's over. It's over. Because, as you said, there are a lot of writers who still are going to vote for Jokic. And, and let's keep it real. If any of these three win it, Giannis, MB, or Jokic, I mean, it's they're not a all crime. Phen- I agree right. with you. It's they not are a crime. all having a phenomenal season. My thing with Jokic, this would be his third straight. And a lot of people say this doesn't matter, and it's fine. But to me, if you're going to be put in that group that wins three straight, if you're going to do something that the three players who are most prominently in the GOAT conversation, Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, never did. Those three never won three straight. They could have. Rob, I told you there are analytics out there that say Jordan should have won nine MVPs. To put that in perspective, he right. played 11 full seasons in Chicago. Right, but the difference is the writers didn't follow those analytics, and that's why Michael and those guys, if you had the writers today, Chris, and but I'm not saying I all of them. I think you're overestimating how many, because it's still a lot of older writers uh, and broadcasters that vote. It's not like, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, we could look well, it how, up I, if we had well, time. Well, my only thing I don't was, know that it's like, it's not like 65% of the voters are these young analytics kids. Yeah, but most beat guys and people travel and, and around, those are the younger guys. Those aren't no, they're not old guys. Bob Ryan isn't covering the Celtics anymore. Yeah, but they, I don't know if Ryan votes, but no, I mean, no, no. a lot I'm of just people saying. that Will Bond has a vote, I have a vote. You know, guys that haven't been beat writers for years still have votes. Broadcasters get votes. You know, so I, I don't think it's quite as like, oh, 70% of the guys are voting on analytics. Again, he might win, but I, I don't I just don't think it's gonna be that cut and dried as far as guys that are just tied to the numbers. And I think he's taking a hit, Jokic. Not really his fault, but fault, but just with them struggling down the stretch, they've gone six and eight over their last 14 games. He missed some of those games, but that's hurt. That, you know, he's missed some games because that was going to be a little slight advantage for him is that he's played more games. But now it, it's very a small number. He's only played three more games than Embiid. And this is why I said even some of the analytics numbers don't favor him. Giannis has the highest defensive rating in the league, according to the analytics. Um, 107.5. Embiid is fifth. And Jokic is ninth, so it's not bad. He's even in the though top he's, 10. Yeah, but he that, that's the thing, Rob, about these numbers. And you did the box score plus minus. You could de- do defensive win shares or defensive box score plus minus. And Jokic ranks high, but if you just watch the game, you'll see he's not a very good defender. He, you know, and that shouldn't be come as a surprise to anybody unless all you do is look at the analytical numbers. And so that's where I think a big advantage goes to Embiid and Giannis over Jokic, which is why in, on my ballot, I'm looking more at Embiid and Giannis for number one. Like, to me, it's more between those two. Jokic will be third, but which one of those two I pick, I, I'm still not sure. I, you know, I've gone back and forth. They're both having phenomenal seasons. Last night was a huge moment for MB, and he's had some, Rob. The 47-point game where he absolutely demolished Nikola Jokic, who was guarding him uh, earlier in the season. I think it might have been February. And last night in a huge win that they needed against Boston, he does, you know, I know these aren't the best indicators of defense because I think Giannis is clearly the best defender of the three but Jokic I mean uh, Embiid leads them both in steals and blocks and so I I I I think he's got a great shot but I think Doc I'm, I get Doc saying it but it's not I mean, over. it's his guy it's but over. right it's his it's guy but you got to be careful to throw you got to just be careful because 
it, it could come back to bite you. Let me ask Rob G. I don't know if you have it. I'm, I'm just as. I think MB is going to win. I do. I'm going to sit down Saturday and do all my my awards and everything. Uh, I'm an official voter, but I, I do think MB is going to win. Rob, who did you vote for last? I'm just curious with your vote. Last year, I think I voted for Giannis. Okay, and the uh, year before that, Jokic. Okay, the year and before. you? Yeah, so you? Okay, so you voted for him once. Um, Rob G, is there any way of knowing? Uh, is there any st- stat or story out there about uh, Jokic and whether or not he can still finish with a triple double? Is he, isn't he close to one? Um, I haven't seen anything like that, but I have seen the latest odds in Vegas. Courtesy he is of close, Rob. He just needs. He just needs. Uh, he's nine point nine assists it, a game. It, Rob, okay. I, I hate to pour cold, cold water on your argument, but according to uh, Lamar Mitchell and our friends at BetMGM, after last night's fifty-two point performance, Joel Embiid is now. Minus six hundred favorite. Yeah, but that's MVP. Vegas. They're trying Rob, to get you to bet. Minus six hundred is you know not nothing to sneeze at. You I'll know? tell like, you this, Rob G. Number. If you follow Vegas and some of the, the things that come out, you'd be surprised. But no, mostly, yeah, but you've had like minus two fifty, like three hundred. No, I get This it. is a big number. But they're trying you get to seven get, to one odds on Jokic to win. They're they're trying to get people. Uh, I, 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 they, they look after it because of prisoner of the moment. What happened last night and what Doc said. So they're scared. They think, oh my God, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta kick it up because we don't want people to load up on, uh, on Embiid after that game. They're just trying to protect well, themselves. Well, Rob, you know uh, according to this article, the implied odds for a minus six hundred favorite in anything means that Vegas is projecting eighty six percent chance that they win. Mm. Okay, but there's 14 percent chance that they don't. That's that's a big Rob. Number, just Rob. accept the just accept the. Okay, end. I'm just, just accept I, the. End. I'm not accepting it. <laughs> I refuse to accept it. Will you accept the L on the Lakers that you said weren't going to make the play? No, they're they're in the play in. They're automatically they they clinched the play in already. Still, I'm not going to admit it. I'll wait. So then, then, then don't even. I mean, you, you're never going to admit the L. You lost. You everybody takes an L. I was G. wrong. There you go. You got it, Chris. I just said it. Did you see me move my lips? Say yeah, it again. Yeah, I right. was wrong. 